Pakistan and Indian jets clashed overnight above the disputed region of Kashmir. The escalation comes after India launched an airstrike targeting a Pakistani terrorist camp. Foreign policy experts argue that the brewing conflict between the two nuclear armed nations is not an isolated event and could have ripple effects impacting U.S. interests. One being Afghanistan, where the U.S. still has troops on the ground. And second is India's ability to take a leading role in broader Asian affairs. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo urging caution, asking both countries countries to exercise restraint and avoid any escalation at any cost. And it comes right ahead of India's general election. Seema, does this uh, uh, shooting, uh, uh, these conflicts between the aircraft, uh, date back to a, an attack by a radical terrorist group on uh, Indian paramilitary officers, a suicide bombing a couple weeks ago. A suicide bombing took place just about two weeks ago in the disputed region of Kashmir that, uh, that uh, resulted in 40 Indian soldiers being killed. And that's what really triggered this larger dispute that we're seeing take place between these two countries that have a long-standing long -standing rivalry that dates back to 1942 when India claimed independence. Right, How right. could this change the, uh, the elections in terms of who may go out in front? Is there somebody who's a little bit more militaristic, for instance? Well, I think it'll certainly bring out mm -hmm. Modi's nationalism message and his efforts to prioritize defense and security issues in this campaign. We were thinking the economy would be front and center, but to your point, it certainly seems to be uh, security. Real quickly, is China's role in this for stabilization, especially with everything else going on right now in the North Korea talks? What do you think their interest is here? I think China absolutely wants uh, a stable situation because of their vested interest in Pakistan. They've been building out ports and dams across Pakistan. So, of course, both sides, whether it be the U.S., which has seen, sees uh, India as a strategic ally, and China, given its role in Pakistan, they both want to see stabilization. And when are the uh, Indian elections? India elections are over the course of six weeks. We're talking about 856 million people going to the polls. So it starts in April, ends in early May.